Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club and welcome to another Excel video. What we're going to look at today is expanding on our knowledge of logical statements and if statements and we're going to look at the use of AND and OR. Now AND and OR help with comparative operators so you could be saying is X equal to Y and is Y equal to Z. When you're using the AND statement, all logical tests must be satisfied to get a true result. When you're using the OR statement, only one of the logical tests has to be satisfied for you to get a true result. So it's very important to know the difference and understand what logical test it is you want to carry out before you select the use of AND or OR. So before we get stuck into this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you find this video of use, please do give it the thumbs up. So let's hop over now into Excel and take a look at an example. In the last video, we looked at logical expressions and you were introduced to if statements. In this video, we're going to develop that a little bit further and we're going to look at AND and OR. Now, for the AND function to return a true result, all criteria that you specify must be met. So, if one of them isn't met, you're going to get a false result. But with OR, you could specify that only one must need to be met so you can get a true result. Let's have a quick look. So, let's say equals AND. And let's say we want to say is the stock count of red cups equal to the system record and is the stock count of blue cups equal to the system record. So let us put in our equals. So that is our first logical test. And our second logical test is the stock count of the blue cups equal to the system record. Now we could continue on and we could put in more, but in this case we won't. Now, what do you think is going to happen before we press enter? Well, blue cups does equal, but red cups doesn't. So, are we going to get a true or a false? Well, we're going to get a false because one of them doesn't equal. If we made that equal, it would turn to true. Let's just go back there and make that unequal. And let's do that with our OR function instead. So, with our OR function, only one of the logical tests has to give a true result to be given an actual overall true result. So we'll take the exact same criteria, and this time one matches and one doesn't. And we get a true result, because it's one or the other. Now what we can now do is we can combine this into an if statement. So let's just take, for example, equals if, and let's take our logical test to be an AND, so we want both conditions to be met. So we would add an AND in after the IF statement. And then it's looking for our logical test. So does our stock count equal our system record for our red cups? Or does our stock count equal our system record for our uh, blue cups? And it's an AND, so we need both of these to be true, to get a true result. And if it's true, what value do we want to give it if it's true? Let's just say match, even though that's not exactly what we have asked for. And again, value if false, we will say not match. And we will hit enter. And we can see we have got a not match because one of them doesn't match. But let's change this so it does match. And now we have a match. Because what we have said is, and if I press F2, we can activate that cell. What I have said is if. And we jump in here and then we have and. So if both of these criteria give us a true result, then we want a match, otherwise not match. If we only wanted one to be correct, we could replace that with the or. And at the moment, both are, so we're getting a match. But if only one is, we will still get a match. So both of the criteria in this case have to not match when you're using the or statement. So that is combining the if statement with AND and OR.